A nine-minute movie that combines comedy with horror is now playing on a cable channel called Shorts TV. Cursed World Problems was created by a group of alumni from the University of Toledo, and it's loosely based on a true story. The premise is simple enough to understand, strange enough to give you the willies. I guess there's a couple of dorky weirdos who <laughs> like creepy stuff. An ancient curse is haunting a family in the short film Cursed World Problems. The idea behind the nine-minute movie came from the relatives of Doug Hawley. Hawley heard for years how his family from Warren, Ohio, was cursed. Right. We took that as a jumping point, and we crafted this short film. It's about a, uh, an expecting couple who learn that there is this curse on the family and that their unborn child is in danger. I know that sounds pretty grim, but it's actually a comedy. The movie was shot over a period of two weekends in 2017. Holly, who now lives in the Los Angeles area, is a full-time filmmaker who graduated from the University of Toledo. He's one of five UT alums who collaborated on this project. It played in 15 different festivals, generated a bunch of awards. Chris Jarowski is a former 13 ABC photographer who executive produced Cursed World Problems. He credits the training from UT for helping bring this story to the screen. Uh, you know, we learned the skills needed to properly shoot, edit, produce, write, direct. Um, you know, they taught us to work closely together and uh, strengthen those bonds, which kept us together for all these years. It's just funny, this goofy thing that has been this uh, topic of semi-serious discussion in my family is just now this bizarre movie about a gypsy curse and with ghosts and all kinds of shenanigans, so. Keep an eye out for those shenanigans and this hometown connection bringing cursed world problems to Shorts TV. <laughs> Doug is in town scouting locations for another feature he's planning to shoot here next year. And I mentioned this, that's a, a mild R rating. Some, some swearing, some language in there, but it's really not like you would think. It's not like a horror movie, a slasher movie. It's, it's kind of just a weird comedy.